Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday to you guys playing this game and still grinding FIFA. Props to you if you're still in this game as well, because a lot of people have, you know, rinsed their clubs. Even like during the first week of Summer Heat, people have stopped this game, even after TOTS. Um, but EA, in my opinion, is still doing a decent job with this promo. A great job, actually, of bringing out content that is applicable and very usable and cost appropriate at this time. But there's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about today with the weekend league sell-off happening, stuff going down in price, and other possible content, um, SBCs and stuff that we could see today that could affect the market even more. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, when should I be buying these team of the season cards that are in packs with all the batch three stuff that's in packs? This stuff, is it going to rise? What's happening next week even? Because of course, we know that these cards are only in packs for five days, and that's kind of questioning because... Uh, we are questioning that because most of these cards, the batch one and batch two, have been in packs for two weeks before this. There were like two week periods. This one's only one week. A lot of the SBCs expire in one week. Uh, so I do want to talk about that. And also, I want to talk about the big SBC that came earlier today or earlier yesterday. And that was the Paul Pogba SBC. And the reason why I have that one completed right now and you can't see it in here is because... Um, I did this SBC earlier today through the crafting grind. I crafted them through 81 plus packs and a couple cards that I had in the club already. This was the SBC that came in FIFA Ultimate Team, and it was one of the biggest W's I think that we've seen in a while, right? This cost for this SBC, I was expecting, fully expecting for this SBC to be somewhere between 800 and like 1.2 million coins, very similar to the Usman Dembele situation. And today, EA dropped a banger of a SBC. This card's 300,000 coins. It was actually like 250. The fodder, SBC fodder started to rise today. So if you bought fodder that was out of packs or low rated stuff that we talked about earlier in the week this week, I have only some of it right now on my transfer list. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I had already been selling uh, or, you know, through the second part of the day. But again, these Felipe is 12,000 coins. Like I club stocked a lot of the stuff last night and it, or two nights ago. Uh, a lot of the 82s even. We were talking about Jesus Navas on Thursday at uh, 2,000 coins. Pedro at like 2,500. Kolarov, this dude was 3,000 coins on Thursday night and he went extinct today at 10,000 coins. And the SBC fodder situation today was fantastic. The only stuff that didn't do well from an SBC fodder perspective and point of view was some of the stuff that is in packs currently. Some of the stuff that is in packs currently did not do that well um, just because it again got supplied today. There were three, there were two tradable packs as a part of the Pogba SBC that so many people did and also a tradable uh, shapeshifters challenge that was released. So all of that supply um, and then of course people doing upgrade packs. So some of this stuff did rise a decent amount, but it was honestly specific cards in specific areas that really did the damage. A lot of the out of packs cards, uh, you know, like I bought some Courtois, I bought some Godin, and those types of cards did well today uh, because obviously their gold versions are out of packs. I bought Courtois at um, 20, 28, 29,000 coins, and I was selling today at like 32K. So that was a decent W for just like a one day's time frame. But really, the big money was made with the Premier League cards that were um, like 84 rated, right? Gundawan is, he was like 10, 11K for most of the day today. Uh, and this guy was 7,000 coins during the week. So that was a big W. If you bought some of those, should you be selling your stuff right now? I honestly think you should just because it is up and we don't really know what is coming throughout the rest of the week this week. But this Pogba SBC did make more moves and more waves than just through SBC fodder because since this was so cheap, a lot of other midfielders on this game uh, dropped in price today. And there was also a rebound on some prices heading into when this SBC came out as well. That's kind of what we've seen the past, actually the past three weeks on Saturdays. If you think about what SBCs have come out in the past three weeks on Saturdays, we had Usman Dembele, the next week we had Langley, and then now we had Pogba. So every single Saturday, what we've seen is panic selling heading into 6 p.m. UK. Some stuff just went lower because the SBC or the player that was released was like a substitute good for some cards and some stuff, some stuff went up. Perfect example of something that was panic sold into Saturday that went up, right? People were expecting uh, that this Pogba card would be kind of expensive, right? A lot of some of the top tier cards even. Mbappe team of the season was down at 2.2 million coins today on the PlayStation. 
2.2 million coins. He has rebounded from 2.2 mil all the way back to 2.5 mil on the market right now. That's a 300k swing just today. There's many options and many other examples of cards that did the exact same thing today on the market. There's also the other side of the coin. And the, on the other side of the coin were guys like Hullet, guys like Mateus, other central midfielders in this game um, that are top tier used by a lot of people uh, in foot. This Mateus card dropped 200,000 coins today. This Hullet, 3.9 mil for Hullet, 392 right there on a bid. Uh, he's actually back up a little bit now. He's right about 4 mil. Uh, but this guy was 4.6 million coins last weekend, if you look at his graph on PlayStation. So there was a lot of midfielders that got hurt today, big time in price. Uh, and a lot of stuff rebounded back up. And a lot of people were asking me, yo, why is this stuff up in price again? Should I um, should I be selling cards right now? Should I be buying cards? Like what's happening? Is the weekend league sell-off going to happen? Yes, this happened the past two weeks as well, is that the weekend league sell-off was just slightly delayed. And it was more focused on Sunday, which is today. Uh, because of the SBCs that came out on that Saturday. Of course, if you had the Paul Pogba for birthday card, this card uh, is absolutely in the gutter. It's like 200,000 coins, um, but that's kind of where you would expect it to be after the SBC that came out today. So the reason why you didn't see as much of a crash on the market as a whole today, and you actually saw more of a rebound, was because Pogba wasn't that expensive. 200,000 coins, 300,000 coins compared to a million? If you just, that, that 700,000 coin difference from where we thought the SBC was going to be to where it actually was, um, it, you multiply that by the amount of people that logged on a foot today to do Paul Pogba, that's millions and uh, hundreds of millions of coins probably. That would be a bit of an uh, overstatement, but millions of coins at least that were um, not wasted on, on SBCs today that were you know able to be used on the market and in the game. So that is an interesting thing that Pogba was so expensive, but still a GG from EA. And that's why you didn't see the market crash a lot today, which makes me think that you'll start to see some of these prices jump back down uh, later today on Sunday. I honestly do think you will. And especially with one addition to content, if we do see this SBC uh, that I'm thinking of, 3.8 for Neymar. So Neymar is actually kind of low right now um, on this game. He's actually kind of low. But this is the addition that if we see this today, we're, I'm going to get really interested. And I thought that this was going to come out on Friday. It didn't. I thought I said it was going to come out on Saturday. It didn't. So I'm going to keep up my role and say that this could come out today or Monday, which I think it has to come out either one of those two days. And I'm probably going to be wrong here again. But I don't know why EA is adding this any Tots SF player to the code right now and it hasn't been released yet. I really don't understand. The only things that I could think about as of to why this has not been released yet is if they're not going to actually release this as a pack and it's going to be a viewership reward for that whatever EA competitive thing's going on. If that is what this pack's gonna be for, then I'm gonna be very upset and a lot of people are gonna be upset. And the only other issue I'm, I guess I could see them waiting for is they want people to do Pogba and then they want them to finish Weekend League and then rinse their coins into this SPC. I don't know. But what I'm really hoping for this SPC is and the fear that I have for the market according to this SPC Guarantees a player from any team of the season so far. And basically, I imagine that that would be the any TOTS cards that are in packs, but I don't know. It just depends on how EA codes that SBC. But if this SBC comes out today and it's repeatable, that SBC should not be very expensive. I'm thinking like 82 or 83 rated squad max with 50, 60 chemistry, like that's it. And if that is the squad that does come out, if that SBC does come out, that's going to be one that a lot of people want to grind, want to craft, because it's going to be very easy to craft. For the hardcore guys in this game, you're going to be able to go do 81 plus double upgrades and rinse all of the cards that you don't like from that that are low rated. You know, when you pack an 81, 82, or an 83, you're going to be able to rinse that into that SPC. So that's going to be the ultimate grind and craft that you might be able to do this week if they do release that SPC. If they don't put that out and it's just like a one time and it's not repeatable, that's kind of going to suck for me because that SBC came out last year and it was hype. People loved it. And a ton of people actually uh, interacted with that SBC. It was very, very good. But now this year, if they change it up, that's going to be kind of interesting. Other things that we could maybe see today, if EA really wanted to, they could put out the 84 double plus and the 85 to 92 um, SBCs as well. I don't expect those to come back out, but I guess it's somewhat possible. Uh, we also could get an objective 
today as well. Some people have been mentioning that they feel like uh, we are going to get a another grindable tiered objective. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that or how much I agree with that because since this promo is ending in five days, 16 hours from now, I don't know if they're going to put another Summer Heat card that is grindable for that long in objectives unless uh, there's really nothing coming after this promo. But again, all the signs and everything that I see in this game right now is pointing towards there, be, there being something else that comes after this promo because basically everything expires by next Friday except for Vidal. There's an overlap of one day and the Pugba that came out today um, is non-expiration. So there's nothing else there to read into. I guess the other things that we could look out for and again to kind of support this method of thinking is if EA, whatever SBC that EA drops today, if it's not a player, if it's one of those TOTS packs and TOTS upgrades, if they set that to expire on Friday as well, I mean, with TOTS not in packs or with TOTS going out of packs on Friday, it really wouldn't make sense for that to be here longer. Um, but it just, a lot of signs are pointing towards something else coming later this week uh, on this game. We also got the League One TOTS SF guarantee today, which, dude, I opened like... I think 10 of these on stream today with share plays and we got like five Slamanis, two Andres, uh, maybe a Rajkovic and then one Awar and one Marquinhos. Th that's, these TOTS guaranteed packs that they're re-releasing are pretty not very good at all. Somebody else mentioned, could they re-release the Ultimate TOTS SBC? That's very possible since we've had all the top five leagues now re-released. I think it's very possible we could have a um, Ultimate TOTS SBC guaranteed pack released back onto this game that'd be something that we could see but i don't think there's any sbcs that are expiring very soon that i have to warn you guys about i guess or remind you guys to do uh the Bellati, the summer showdown i do expect another um well this isn't summer showdown but this is um the dynamic duo the summer showdown expires in one day six hours so we got a day to do that uh that game is on monday calcio versus lasio and then I do think we will see the last, the fourth and final um, Summer Showdown SBC on Monday. So tomorrow, I think we'll see the very last one because I wish they would keep this going throughout the summer, but I know the seasons are coming to an end and the end of the Summer Heat promo is coming as well. So the Summer Showdown is probably going to be ending with the last one on Monday. So I guess that's something to think about as well. And again, if you're wanting to do something in FIFA right now, Craft these SBCs. Like, these are pretty, they're honestly decent value. I've had some pretty good pack luck today. I packed Tots Hulk. I packed um, Tots Edward. Tots, uh, who else was there? I packed, oh, Casemiro from the 81 plus double upgrade and some other decent items in there. Rafa, Tots, I get him a decent amount. Um, and especially if that Tots upgrade pack does come where we get a guarantees any player from team of the season so far, depending on how that pack looks like and what it would actually give. There could be a lot of menu grinding and a lot of coins could be submitted into that, causing the market to go down further, which is why I really think that if you're going to buy cards this week, even if it's like, a, the only thing that I'm a bit scared of is like this Mbappe, right? This guy is not in packs. He's still about 4 million coins. He was 3.8 mil last week. Now he's 4 mil, not in packs, right? This is the type of card that I think as we go into the week and as we get toward Thursday and Friday of this next week, if we don't have any news from EA about another promo coming, you're going to start to see a lot of people splurge and splash the cash on high tier meta cards that they haven't bought yet because they're going out of packs. And it might be where a lot of people see as their last chance to buy their end game team. Basically, that could be happening a lot on Thursday of this week. And again, so if you're buying something that is in packs, if you want to buy a TOTS card, like this Neymar, or maybe this De Bruyne. How, did De Bruyne go down a bunch today because of uh, because of the uh, Pogba SBC? Please tell me he did. Oh, he actually rebounded, I think. He might rebound a little bit, or I'm maybe mistaken on his price. No, he definitely rebounded. This guy definitely de rebounded. What? De Bruyne's back at 2 mil, man. Wow. Back at 2 mil. Um, so if you want to buy any of these cards, they're still in packs throughout the rest of this week. Rewards is going to supply these cards on the market at a really high amount. These TOTS cards are going to get supplied at rewards um, from all the packs that are opened. And then again, if we get more content throughout the week this week, if you want to buy any TOTS cards that are in packs, I would wait. Honestly, I would continue waiting. And, you know, there's only things that I would get interested in today on a weekend league sell-off would be possibly some icons and maybe this Delict card, maybe some Syria. 
uh, Juventus links because, I mean, I, I told you guys to watch this card, and I'm going to kind of watch it myself. If he gets down to like the 440, 450 range, depending on the content that comes out, of course, uh, if Danilo does get upgraded and Juve do win on Monday, that could be a card that rebounds. Any of these icons that are out of packs, like if you want mid hullet for your end game team, I would sincerely be looking at this card right now as a potential buy. He was 200k cheaper earlier today, uh, but that's going to be a card that probably bounces back just because it's uh, so many people want it for their end game squads. Even other some of the other prime icon midfielders, maybe like a Makalele or a Mateus or some of those all round box to box cards. Just watch those prices. They'll probably start rebounding earlier into the week than other things. Uh, and somebody else, a possible uh, Twitch Prime pack. I don't know if that's going to be coming out very soon, but supposedly a Twitch Prime pack could be coming uh, in the somewhat near future is what I am hearing. Um, I need to actually check up on that and see if it's actually true. But good luck if you're playing in the Weekend League GLs. And again, remember, French links are OP, right? I don't even want to know how many guys are using Pogba in the weekend league right now. Um, I'm using Conte over him, but I'm going to try him out. I'll probably use him at some point in the rest of my games that I have to play. I'm sincerely just hoping today for a repeatable TOTS upgrade pack from EA Sports. Um, and then something that we can just grind on the menus with. And uh, and then, yeah, hopefully we see some weekend league sell off today. Because I know a lot of you guys were really hoping for the market to go down more than it actually did. And I think that if the content comes out correctly... And uh, there is weekend league sellout today. You should see the prices drop a decent amount more. And that'll be good for a lot of you guys that are looking to buy cards for your team. So if you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.